Hello, I'm Karen and I own the Cape Tower and today I'm going to do an update on the surf wash powder box where I cut my hand. So this is the actual box that I cut myself on and I'm pleased to say that I actually received a letter from surf and a return address label so that I can send the box in. And I actually spoke to the manager of the company and he said that if I've got some suggestions of how I could make the company better with their recycling, then I can send my suggestions in. So I've made, this is a plastic bag my children bought me for a pound from Poundland and I've attached the surf logo to it because I think that if you bought your wash powder in a recycled bag that you could actually rinse out when you're finished and actually use as a shopping bag, that would be really handy. And I've also gone to the trouble to design a new style tub which I would like them to use for the largest tubs of wash powder. At the minute, oh, I've got my initials on the bottom look, at the minute the largest wash powder comes in a really really big cardboard box with a big handle over the top which tends to tear and is really awkward and hard to carry home. But this, with its handles, I know this is a miniature version, but you've got to imagine it as the bigger version. This, what we would actually do was we would carry it with the handles. And I would like it, as I've made this part here to show you, I'd like it to actually have a mechanism where you put the lid on it and twist it so that it stays shut. But I couldn't display exactly what I meant and how it would work inside this clay dough tub that I've actually made so I've made a cutout section so that you can see where the lid would actually have some little nodules sticking out they would actually slot into there and you'd twist and you'd be able to close your tub so that is my suggestion for their tub and also that this lid would actually fold down into this little groove there so that you can make all of your tubs stack on top of each other and then once you've finished using this tub, you could give it a rinse out under the shower and then the tub can be used as a laundry basket, um, whether you use it for taking your washing straight out of your washing machine or whether you actually have them in the bedroom so that you can hide away smelly socks and things. And I think that everything that Surf should do should come in plain colours and have peelable labels and that they should teach you how to recycle better. Because at the end of the day, this cardboard box originally started off as a tree. And we all know we don't want to chop any more trees down. And we also know that we can recycle our cardboard. But recycling cardboard has a limited amount of use. But if we recycle plastic, I know that we have to use the oil from the ground in the first place, but the plastic's out there now, so we can't undo what's already been done, but we can recycle plastic over and over and over and over again. And I did loads of research. I have actually written a six-page letter, and in my letter I have put all of the places, they're all highlighted where I've got all of my information from, which is true and correct for them to be able to use. I have also emailed a recycling company which has um, sent me a letter back so that they can read what the recycling company has said to me. But in particular, I noticed that SURF is actually, where's my other letter, whoops a daisy, my other letter, see it says there, look, it's part of the Unilever company. If you go onto the Unilever website, they have lots of wants of how that they would like to recycle. So, surf, Unilever, please take notes. I can't believe it's not butter tub. It's dishwasher proof. It is freezer proof. And I can reuse it. Because it's been in the dishwasher, I can reuse it back for food. Or I can use it for my surf tablets. Or I could use it for my surf powder. But at the end of the day, I could reuse it for whatever I want. Now, if all of the surf that was... Um, the purple versions all had matching tubs and all came in this this sort of particular plastic 
then they could actually be reused over and over again. These stack easily in the cupboard, they don't take up much room and inside my tub, which has actually been in the dishwasher and still looks as good as new, right, I've enclosed one of their surf pouch things because I'd like these to be made in half wash loads. So I've got a little note inside there so that they can actually see that that's going to go in there. This tub um, with my initials, whoops, upside down, my initials on the bottom will also be packaged into the tub. I'm going to put that in some bubble wrap and I'm also including this. This is um, the actual packet that I actually got my Walker's crisps in. And this half of it is still how it would be originally. You know you can tear it open really easy and it rips. But this company called TerraCycle uses technology which effectively was like, in a simplified version at home, I ironed it. So when I ironed it together, this is what happened. It changed the fabric. It is so strong. You can fold it over, you can sew it with a sewing machine, and it's really, really strong. So, if Surf used this type of recycled material to be able to make bags, so we have the choice. So we can go to the supermarket and we can choose what we want. We can go and buy one of our tubs and say, yep, I want a tub. And... Then next time you go shopping, you say, oh, my tub, I, I really like the tub, it, it's really good, but I just need a bit more wash powder. So you can actually buy a bag of wash powder that you can carry home, recycle the bag, because we know that this one's going to be washed out. And if not, we want to buy ourselves another tub because we want another one for one of our rooms in different colours. It would be brilliant. I think everything they do should actually have peelable labels and... All I can do is send it all off and wait and see for a reply. I don't know whether they're going to listen to me. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But I'm trying. This is the only way that I can think of at the moment to try and help save the planet. And everybody I know thinks it's kind of a good idea. So maybe they will. Wish me luck, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.